Hello friends, thanks for watching The Engine Man on Successful Farming TV. I'm Ray Bohax. And you know, we usually do segments on my part of the show and we show you how to take things apart or how to diagnose things. And we're not gonna do that today. I'm gonna do something that's a little bit different, but it's near and dear to my heart. And I believe it should be near and dear to everyone who's viewing this heart also, is we need to understand about fuel and specifically gasoline. So the thing is that as far as gasoline is concerned, there are all different types of gasolines. And I don't mean gasoline as far as 87 octane, 89 octane, or what have you, but there are what they call boutique blends of gasoline. And a boutique blend of gasoline is a gasoline that is actually created, that is actually refined for a certain to achieve a certain goal. You would go to California and that would be a boutique gasoline that's in Los Angeles. That'll be a different chemical composition than the gasoline that is up in the, in the mountains of California or in the rural farmlands of California. And that has to do with the emissions that the gasoline creates when it is burned. So they're boutique blends. But what has happened is that there has been a whole industry that has formed about what they call canned fuel for small engines. And this is an excellent, excellent product. I'm not saying that it is not. But one of the things, one of the talking points that the canned fuel industry uses is that they say that they're ethanol free. And that kind of gives people the impression that ethanol is bad in gasoline. And I'm an engine guy and I think ethanol and gasoline is great. And why do I think it's great? Because number one, it's an American fuel. Number two, it's a renewable fuel. And number three, it burns very cleanly. So all of this hubbub about ethanol being bad in gasoline is really has no basis whatsoever. Is it different than gasoline was 30 years ago? Of course it is, but gasoline without ethanol is different than it was 30 years ago also. And 97% of the gasoline consumed in the United States is what is called E10, which is 90% gasoline, 10% ethanol. So please, next time when you pull up to the pump, Consider that ethanol-based product. Not only are you helping your neighbors, you're helping the country, and you're helping your engine because it's gonna run cleaner inside. If I can answer any questions on ethanol or anything else, please feel free to contact me at sfenginemanandagriculture.com. And if you're wondering where I am, I'm in Columbiana, Ohio, at the Firestone Farm Tires Test Facility. You have a blessed day, and fill it up. After these brief messages, I track the latest values on late model combines. So please stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already, and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video. And click here to see more great videos.